one of our successes is the close-knit community that we are. Um, we work closely with the local community, with the parishes, with the parents and the challenges is the area that we are serving um, in terms of the deprivation, um, transport, aspirations, the budget within, within the um, local authority. Um, but despite these challenges, we are doing extremely well. From the first meeting that we had, myself, Robin, and one of the other assistant heads, it just seemed that working with Aspire to Be was the way forward for us, not only in terms of equipping the staff, but the audit and allowing us to have a baseline from which to work in order to improve standards across the school, within the school, and for the future. What we've done is embedded a, a system that where one size doesn't fit all. There are, there are learners out there learning with iPads. There are learners out there learning with the G Suite product. There are staff using iPads, staff using the, the GC's products. And for me, it is as holistic as DCF wants us to be. Uh, and that's where, where we are driving. We're not using IT just for the sake of ICT. We're using ICT to, to, to make it holistic and therapeutic and make sure the learning is, is, is consistent. We are equipping them, not just for today, but for the future and for a world that doesn't yet exist. Staffing, again, you know, technology that staff use um, inside the classroom and outside the classroom, it just becomes second nature. It just makes things more streamlined um, from a personal perspective, being able to access documents at home, being able to work on them and then work on those same documents in school without the use of pen drives, um, especially with the new data protection laws. It just makes things much tighter, more streamlined um, and much, much more rigorous really in terms of line management and accountability. We use technology in lessons like IT where we can use programming and coding and learn loads of other things with um, that and we can use it in our core subjects where we get to do research. With regards to the teaching, um, a massive change to our pedagogy, the apps and the programmes that we are using has really started to engage the kids a lot more, especially a lot of our lower ability learners. Um, we've also got a bit of a problem with the gender gap between boys and girls achieving and introducing ICT more into the boys' classes has really had a massive impact on their attainment levels, their grades and their engagement and enjoyment of the subject. So it's really changed the way which we run as a department, both admin-wise as a department but also in the classroom as well. Sometimes we use Accelerated Reader, which quizzes us on books that we read in English and other lessons. And in school, if we're like doing an event or anything, they'll put an online questionnaire up so that we can fill it in online. Google Classroom's quite good. We use it mostly in DT, where we can like design things and then share it with the class and the teacher, and then we can like use it and study each other's work. It keeps us well organised as well. We, since we've had the Aspire to Be training, it's, I think it's, without exaggeration, revolutionised the way that we've done things this year. Training was absolutely superb. As a teacher you go on an awful lot of training courses, I find, and sometimes you come away in theos and nothing really happens. With the training we did, we did it over two or three days and the next day I was back in my classroom, my first lesson was like, right, let's get on, let's use it. It was so straightforward and so simple. People often say with training that it's so important to have that time to implement things straight away. But for me, what, what made this training really different was the fact that they were all educators themselves. So with every bit of training, there was an example of where they had used it and it can really make things click in your context then. We get a lot of pupils that are not in any way confident in speaking and presenting in front of their peers and with Welsh back now, they just have to do it. So Spark Videos is really good because they start by voicing it over. So they get their voice heard without being the person physically stood in the front of the class. And then that acts as a nice bridge then to them physically doing it themselves. It helps us expand our knowledge of things we didn't know and um, it can help us with a later career and like when we use it as research we learn things we wouldn't know if we just wrote it down or read it in the textbook. I think Aspire to Be, they're so professional but also so very down to earth. They, the support 
you have of them is second to none. I know now if I had a bit of a question or query, I could contact them and I'd have a response straight away. They're doing the most that they possibly can to help you embed it in your school. And it's not a bolt on, it's to embed it successfully to benefit both the pupils, but us as staff as well. They, it's one of probably the best training courses I've been on in my years of being a teacher.